What's up everybody, Coach Trevor here. So today we're gonna to go over the body weight side lunge, all right? So they've already done the body weight caustic lunge, right, where their hips are going back, knees pointing out, the weight's you know, nice and even within their foot, their grip on the floor, so big toes down, pinky toes down, heels down, weight's in the midfoot. On the side lunge, standing tall, pushing off, a little more dynamic, coming here, and they're gonna push off, okay? Again, this foot can be flat, they can pivot, I don't really care, to be honest, as long as this knee's not caving in this way, Right? They're not hunching down, their back is staying nice and straight, and there's no stress in their hips. Um, of course, same thing with the Cossacks. I've had people jump into this too soon before their hips are ready for it, and it kind of pulls something, and that strain can stick around for a good amount of time, right? It's like the medial portion of the hamstring, even like the groin or the adductor area. The main thing is, we already have them set up for success with the Cossacks, where things are feeling good, then progress them to the side lunge, right? If they don't have the full range for it, they realistically, in my mind, have no business doing it, right? Master the caustics, if you need to, regress the T-Rex caustics, right, so leaning back, not so much stress on the hips, they can kind of take some weight, some load off their hips using the T-Rex straps, or even a post on this, and then build them up to the side lunge, okay? So it's important they have that foundation before they start moving into the dynamic movements.